Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Dodge Avenger can take you to some really cool places, whether it be through bike riding, camping, or even towing a U-Haul trailer through most of North America. So let's go ahead and break down that really easy install for you. You'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation. To start, let's go ahead and point out our attachment holes that we'll be using. On the inside of the passenger side frame rail, we'll be using these two holes. On this rear hole, we'll be bringing a bolt through the other side of the frame that will go through that hole. And on the second hole, we'll need to bring a carriage bolt inside the frame where we'll use this square access hole in the back to bring that through. And it will be identical on the driver's side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and bring our hitch into position, lining up the two holes on our hitch with those attachment holes that we pointed out. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands as the hitch can be a little heavy. All right, now that we have the hitch lined up, we're gonna go ahead and take our long bolt and our large spacer block, and we're gonna bring it in through that rear hole, coming in through the outside of the frame rail. Next, we'll take our included fish wire, and we're gonna run it through our other attachment hole, and we're gonna bring it back towards our access hole. And then we'll pull our fish wire out of our access hole, and then we'll take our included carriage bolt and small spacer block, and we'll go ahead and attach it to our fish wire. And then we'll put the block into the frame first. And we'll push the bolt in. And we'll go ahead and pull our wire through our attachment hole. Now that we have our bolts into place, we'll take off the fish wire. We're gonna go ahead and take our included flange nuts, and we're gonna put them onto those bolts. And we'll repeat this entire process on the driver's side. As I mentioned earlier, on the driver's side, our attachment points are the same. The only difference is we will be working around the carbon canister, but our access hole is still available right behind it. All right, now that we have all of our hardware into place, let's go ahead and tighten and torque all of our bolts according to the manufacturer specification. We're gonna be using a 19 millimeter socket and we'll start on the passenger side. And on our rear bolt, we'll need to tighten it from the outside of the frame to give us a little bit more room. All right, so we went ahead and pulled the car down onto level ground to show you some measurements for your hitch accessories. This is an inch and a quarter receiver. And from the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is six inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 10 and a half inches. That will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories. Thank you for watching our video. That wraps up our install. If you have any questions or need more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.